This is basically like the second half of the video. Now we already talked about the caribou part. I'm gonna have to put this out the same day, so I might be dropping four videos today. We'll see what the fuck happens. But basically, um, we have the whole Mitch side of the situation. Basically, Yachty wants to cancel the podcast. Now, again, like how I iterated in the caribou video, I'm probably gonna look it at the end. Go watch that one if you want to hear the caribou side. I kind of split it up, or else the video would have just been too fucking long at that point. Basically, um. Um, sorry. There was a podcast on the Safe Place, Safe Place podcast with uh, uh, Yadi and his homeboy Mitch. Basically, they were interviewing Key Glock, whatever have you. They was having a conversation. There was misunderstandings in the conversation. Motherfuckers was getting confused or whatever have you. And basically, with that being said, there was a little disagreement. Fans online were like, yo, Yachty was clowning his man's Mitch. Why are you doing all that? So basically, Yachty was in his feelings. I don't know if he was just having a bad day. Woke up. Apparently, Caribou was saying some shit, or a Caribou fan was saying some shit, and this whole Mitch shit, he got on live and started airing out people. Now, again, the Caribou piece of the video, like, subscribe, help your boy, y'all help your boy grow, you know what it is. Now, we're here to talk about the Mitch situation, basically saying he didn't need to do this podcast, he didn't want to do a podcast, he's an artist, he's a writer, he works with all these women artists, he writes for them, why the fuck does he need a podcast, they ain't paying him that money. He's doing this for his man's Mitch. His Mitch wants a, a profession. He wants to do something. So he going, he going, we're going to find some of these sponsors. We're going to do this podcast. You know, see, make people see how dope and funny you are. I was trying to hold you down and be a good friend, basically. And how you doing all this. You should have, like, defended me and said, yo, we was just playing. We good, bro. Don't take this shit seriously. And he didn't like his excuse of, oh, it's the internet, bro. You know how the internet be, man. You know me and you scrape, but the internet, they be doing whatever they be doing. You know what I'm saying? You heard me? He didn't like that little um <laughs> explanation he was doing. He really got mad. He got heated. He was talking his shit. It's like the podcast done. I don't give a fuck, yo. Mitch, you figure that shit out. I ain't fuck with you no more. Yada, yada, yada. And no caribou shit happened, you know, reference tracks basically exposed that he writes all the caribou shit. But basically, he put that out there. It was mostly about caribou, but Mitch got his shit in there too. Basically, he doesn't want to do podcasts. Now, Mitch has some tweets trying to defend this shit later on after this rant. I seen the tweets after this rant that we will discuss about. But we're here mostly to talk about Camille. So, this girl called Camille, I believe, is Mitch's ex partner, ex girlfriend. I don't know. I guess they still fuck with each other or got love for each other. Anyways, so she was basically going against the audio, like, yo, this motherfucker been your best friend. he been around you forever. It's like your third group. This nigga still been here. he been helping you out. he be helping you get lit and all this shit, bro. What the fuck is you on? Like, you disrespectful as hell. Da 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 da. So things along those lines. Like, you a hoe, you this and that. He clowns are saying, what's wrong with this shorty? Yo, Mitch, get this girl. What the hell's happening? And then after, he basically explodes like, hey, yo, the people who watch the podcast, this the cousin. This the cousin we be talking about. So first of all, before I really get into what they said, what Mitch and everybody said, I got to pause it right here. Mitch, you slept with your cousin? Mitch. Now, the way I was explaining, I seen the clip, I, I believe it was the Kai Sinat episode. Basically, he said it was talking or whatever. They found out they might have some family in common. They did a little search or whatever, and they found out they kind of got some ties or they related or whatever. And he basically said, like, he did smash or whatever. Nigga, you smash your cut. Yo, the South is a place. How the fuck you not know that's your cut? It happens. But, like, you dated your cut. Yo, that's crazy. Man. Like, ugh. I, oh my god yo <laughs> I ain't trying to be disrespectful and again she wrote for you you know oh I should not have used that verbiage pause no diddy but that's crazy yo cousin yo the world ain't that big man. why yo anyway, you know what let me get to it cause I could just have a video of me standing here for like 8 to 10 minutes like nigga yo cousin Yo, cousin, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me get to what motherfucker said. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? During the podcast, so this was, a, I was alluding to the Key Glock episode. Featuring Key Glock, um, Yachty, uh, degenerated as podcast host, uh, Mitch. Especially Yachty said his friend wouldn't be successful without him. Fans absolutely hate these comments and called out the rapper for being out of line in this instance. 
The drama spilled over into the recent news that Caribou was no longer with the Concrete Boys. After Caribou made an off-handed remark about Yachty, Lil Bo went on Instagram Live. He exposed Caribou, claimed, okay, so I already did this. I ain't going to read about this Caribou shit. We ain't got time for this. Um, this is all very surprising, especially when you consider how Mitch came out and clarified. Sorry, did I miss something? Yeah, I missed something. Uh, as for Mitch, Yachty claimed that he wasn't rocking with his friend and that the podcast was canceled. This is very uh, surprising, especially when you consider how Mitch came out and clarified what went down on Twitter. He said that he and Yachty were cool. However, he didn't make it clear that he was successful before Yachty. Either way, the podcast appears to be in disarray right now. Yachty's rant was impulsive and only time will tell whether or not uh, he truly burned any bridges with it. Also, yeah, at the time, like, Yachty has deleted some tweets. I believe Mitch deleted some shit as well. Like, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, Let's see what this nigga Mitch says. So. All right, let's clear some things up. Please don't let the clip misguide you. It doesn't represent me and Yachty's friendship at all. We joke, we joke around pretty harsh sometimes, too. Wait, sorry, I gotta read that again. Sorry. My brain ain't factoring, so don't let that represent me and Yachty's friendship at all. We joke around pretty harshly sometimes too. Too much for real sometimes. But it's but in real life it's nothing but respect and love. I can't even get on here and act like it's not. I ain't nobody low, bro. Never been never been check my history. I had stats before I met, bro, and I got even more now. All I ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way. I hope none of this hinders that. I like his response. Very good response. I ain't gonna lie. Very decent response. I ain't mad at it. See, the thing with them is the more caribou one was the more one I was like, oh, he crashing up. This one, this looks like a little bit of a misunderstanding. I feel like both of them will come back from this. This one ain't super duper serious in my opinion. Now... In the case of his ex-girlfriend slash cousin, this crazy. So let's see, close match. Like, yeah, they keep bringing up Caribou. I'm just trying to scam through it. Just give me a sec. Um, Yadi said that Mitch would not be successful if it were not for him, and he felt that this was the ultimate form of disrespect. And Yadi should make a valiant effort to apologize. Instead, Yadi went on. Uh, subsequently, Mitch's ex-girlfriend hopped on line and threatened to expose Yadi. From there, Yadi hit back and offered up wild commentary and some now deleted tweets. But did my life died anyways, what I was saying. Um in the now deleted tweets. Basically it was a voice message, but anyways. In these audio messages, Yadi claims that Mitch used to have fake meetings with Yadi so that he could escape his ex. Furthermore, he laughed at the notion that there was something to actually expose here. It was all part of a pretty bad night for Yadi. Who has been subjected to a whole lot of criticism as of late. Only time will tell whether or not he could get back in the thing. Basically, he was insulting her. Basically saying that Mitch slept with his cousin. Like, yo, Mitch, get this girl. What the fuck is you doing? The podcast is done. Don't play with me. Yo, Mitch, get your person. I could really violate her. Something along them lines. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know what he was going through that night. I don't know if he had some other issues. But he has started deleting some stuff. So, clearly, bro, he got some rest and he seemed like. He was tweaking a bit. But yeah, this is crazy. Him and Mitch, I feel like they would be good. I don't know about the podcast, though. But I feel like him and Mitch, like, they'll figure it out. They'll be straight after a while. But, hey, it was just crazy. Like, I have never seen that nigga so mad before. Like, I was just perplexed and confused about the situation. But we'll see what happens. Also, how I was looting in the other video. Basically, uh, I believe Rocky. Rocky, she has some issue with Joe Buddy. Anyways. She did like a, a Twitter spaces or whatever have you. And she got some people in there. Some people were saying that Yachty be bullying people or whatever have you. One girl like she really cool with Camille. And he was like Yachty was downplaying any disrespectful to his friends or whatever have you. And they were basically backing up. Basically Camille saying like he doesn't generally fuck with people. He be fucking people over yada 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 or whatever have you. Right. Basically saying that in another person I did not get these people's names. Well, basically, they have some ties in the industry or they're around people in the music industry. Basically, alluding to Yadi's character and how he moves, 
He be on some shit. He be bullying people. He be shysty or whatever have you. Basically backing up some of the claims that Camille has said. Now, again, like I said in another video, I'm not from Atlanta. I don't exactly know how that shit go. But clearly, motherfuckers ain't too happy with Yachty. And some shit has happened. I honestly don't know. In the terms of him and his friendship with Mitch, I feel like somehow it will... I don't think it's that deep. I feel like they'll recover from this in my opinion. Now, with the... With the thing with Caribou, I don't know. We'll see about that one. I don't know about that one. But yeah, it's really all I got to say on this topic right now. Besides all that, man, what did you feel? Did y'all see that laugh? What do y'all feel? All right, comments down below. Links in the description. Besides that, it's your friendly neighborhood KA sign out for today. The Black TJ Dead while I'm doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe. We're trying to hit a little bit more to hear me. I'm gone. Slimes on peace, y'all. All right.